Hello everyone! It's time for another awesome vegan video. Today I'm going to be making another sweet dessert. It's going to be perfect for this time of year towards Thanksgiving, towards the holidays, things cool down, pumpkins in season. And it's vegan chocolate chip pumpkin bars. This quick and fun recipe will be a hit for the whole family. In fact, it can be something that the kids can help you make. So let's stop wasting time and let's start cooking. The tools that you're going to need to make this dish are measuring cups and measuring spoons, a couple of mixing bowls, a mixer, a jelly roll pan or a half sheet pan. You'll need a sifter, a rubber spatula, and a food processor. Now let's go ahead and go over what ingredients that we're going to need to make this. For the bars themselves, what you will need is two cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, two teaspoons of baking soda, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, and I'm using a combination of Saigon and Ceylon. It's one teaspoon each. I like the taste of the blend of these cinnamons. You'll need one quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, quarter teaspoon of ground ginger, two tablespoons of egg replacer, two cups of canned pumpkin, one cup of a vegan buttery stick like Earth Balance, and this needs to be at room temperature, one cup of applesauce, two cups of vegan sugar, and one cup of vegan chocolate chips at room temperature. The ingredients that we're gonna need for our cream cheese frosting is one half cup of vegan butter like Earth Balance that's been cubed up at room temperature, one eighth cup of vegan chocolate chips that I have chopped up in the food processor, three and three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar or confectioner sugar, one half cup of unsweetened vegan milk, and this is gonna be more or less, it depends upon things like the temperature and humidity in the air, so this may vary. You also need two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one half cup of vegan cream cheese, and I'm using Daya. I like the flavor of it. One quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and I'm using the Saigon Ceylon mixture again. One third cup of pumpkin puree. We're gonna also need some more of the Earth Balance buttery stick or vegan buttery stick to grease the jelly roll pan or the half sheet pan. So go ahead and gather up your ingredients and come back and I'll be waiting for you. All right, welcome back everybody. First thing you want to do is preheat your oven at 350 degrees. Now that your oven is heating up, go ahead and take some of the buttery stick and take it to lightly grease your sheet pan or your half sheet pan or your jelly roll pan. And I'm using my grandma's old jelly roll pan for this. I know it's kind of warped, but sometimes the old stuff works a lot better than the new stuff. And I like using her stuff anyway, because it's already got the love already built into it, so things turn out better with that extra love from my grandma. All right, so I've got this greased. So let's go ahead and make our bars. Now that I've set aside my jelly roll pan, let's go ahead and start making the bars. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sift the dry ingredients together. So I'm gonna go ahead and carefully put in my two cups of flour in my sifter. And you want to sift the ingredients, especially the flour, because it helps take the lumps out of the bars. Then we've got our cinnamon, baking soda, baking powder, nutmeg, salt, ginger, and egg replacer. I'm gonna go ahead and get this sifted together. Now that I have the ingredients sifted together, I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside, and I'm gonna mix our wet ingredients. Now that I have my dry ingredients sifted together, let's go ahead and make the bars. What we'll do is we will combine our two cups of pumpkin, one cup of applesauce, two cups of vegan sugar, one cup of earth balance at room temperature. Now that I have all of my wet ingredients put together, I'm gonna go ahead and blend this together. 
now that I have this blended together, I'm going to go ahead and add in my dry ingredients. And I'm going to very carefully mix this together. We don't want to overmix this. We want to mix it just until blended. Now that I have this blended, I can go ahead and add in my chocolate chips. And I'm just going to fold these in. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this in my pan. All right, what I'm going to do is put this in the oven and bake it for 25 to 30 minutes or until the toothpick comes out clean. So I'll see you in about 30 minutes or so. I just pulled the pumpkin bars out of the oven. Toothpick came out clean, so these are nice and baked. I'm going to let this cool for a few hours to overnight, and then we'll go ahead and make the cream cheese frosting once this is nice and cool. So I will see you in a few hours. The pumpkin bars are nice and cool. I'm going to go ahead and make the cream cheese frosting. So I'm going to go ahead and add in our pumpkin. Earth balance that is at room temperature. Cream cheese that's at room temperature. Cinnamon, vanilla. I'm going to go ahead and blend these together. All right, now I'm going to slowly add in the powdered sugar to try to not make a nice powdery mess all over my kitchen. Okay, now I'm going to slowly add in my vegan milk until the frosting is the right consistency. You don't want it to be too thick and you don't want it to be too thin. Just thick enough so you can spread it on the pumpkin bars. I've got my consistency just about right here. So what I'm going to do is fold in the chopped up chocolate chips. I'm going to go ahead and ice my pumpkin bars. Okay, I'm going to let this sit for 20 minutes in the refrigerator to allow the frosting to set. And then I will see you when it's nice and cool. It's been 20 minutes. The icing has been set. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Now I think I might have explained this earlier, but I'm gonna go ahead and explain it to you again. Best way to cut this. I have got a container filled with really hot water. I have my knife sitting in here so the knife heats up. And then I have a clean dry towel. And so what we want to do to make this nice clean cuts, so we want to take our knife and heat it up in the water, and then we're going to dry it off in the dry towel. So the knife is still hot, but it's dry. And then I'm going to make a cut into the pumpkin bars here. Dip my knife back into the water to heat it back up. And wipe it off so it's clean and then we'll make another cut and I'm going to continue doing this until I have my pumpkin bars cut all the way here now I'm going to go ahead and scoop one of these out Look at that, doesn't that look good? Doesn't that look good? It's gonna be perfect for your family. And hey, the kids help make them. This recipe and more can be found at thefatveganchef.com. Please like and comment if you enjoyed the recipe. We can be found on all social media. Just follow The Fat Vegan Chef. You can find a lot of fun behind the scenes content there. Please help me grow by sharing my site and my social media with your friends, family, and 
Finally, if you found what I did useful, please donate. You can find out how by going to tfbc.org forward slash donate. Thank you very much and enjoy this recipe.